I've been here venues. 26 years, yeah. right, and I've never ever seen it as, as bad as it is round here now. Barking and Dagenham has a fly tipping problem. We are outside the community bins for recycling. Unfortunately though, what we see is what we see a lot in the borough, dumping waste that should be going to the tip. That is not acceptable in our community. I've got a cat and he is constantly bringing mice, rats. I mean, I've never oh. had a cat bring a rat in. Yeah. This one, yeah. he's, he's caught three rats. But the council might have a solution by shaming dumpers online. We've got cameras set up all over the borough. We set them up in fly tipping hotspots to get footage of people that have been fly tipping and then we use the wall of shame to like put them up. Pair of planks dump wood on Lodge Avenue. Can you not? Man dumps can. Really? The Wall of Shame is the an online TV programme that we produce every two weeks that show people dumping rubbish around the borough. And we ask their neighbours, friends, family to tell us who they are so we can issue them with a fine. Totally wired. Man dumps cables. Tour de dump. Man chucks bags from bike. Mirror dumper needs a long hard look in the mirror. Think you know him? And want to help keep this place clean? Give us a call. Mr. Wall of Shame edits the videos. We're hiding his face so that people don't dump rubbish outside his door. What kind of pun can we get out of that one? This couple have been through a lot of bin bags. We average one person caught per episode. Fly tipping and littering incidents have dropped by almost a third since they began the Grime Crime videos. One of them was a gentleman who, who shocked his wife and his neighbour uh, just before Christmas last year. So it would have been a very difficult Christmas dinner. We've had another one where it was a teenager who shocked her mum. Once the offenders are identified, they're fined up to £400. Already, 28 people from their videos have been fined and about 70% of offenders pay their fines. So how do they know where to look? If you look at the goods here, you can see it's the bed covers, you can see it's stuff for a home. So it's very clear that either a tenant has moved in or moved out and dumped the rubbish. But is it right to shame people online? When people say, is it right to do this? I would say, is it right for people to disrespect the wider community? We all want nice clean streets. We all want nice clean areas. Don't dump on our streets. Jamie Morland, BBC London.